All right, welcome back to Five on the Floor on the Five on the Floor podcast feeds and on the Five Reasons Sports YouTube channel. I'm Ethan Skolnick. I'm here again with Michael McCulloch, for his Heat Vice President with 6,000 different titles. We've had him on the program before. This time, I don't know if you have quite as much colorful stuff as you had the last time, but you got plenty in the background. I say, yeah, I always see the Amy Winehouse right behind your right shoulder. Uh, so, Michael, today we're going we're gonna to get into the 35th anniversary and other things that you guys have planned I can't believe it's been 35 years. I actually remember watching the first game. Um, I was probably 50 at that point. No, I think I was actually, what was I? I was 14. I was 14. And uh, I remember watching with a friend uh, somewhere and just thinking, wow, we actually have a basketball team here, uh, which was which was surprising. And then if you look at the history, then obviously there's different chapters here, You know, sort of the pre-Riley years, the post-Riley years, uh, a lot of playoff seasons, obviously six finals appearances, three championships. And so I guess the thought process is this, 25 is kind of a natural anniversary, 50 is a natural anniversary. What was the conception here in terms of, okay, we're gonna do something for 35? Well, 35 is great. And you mentioned all the incredible success and, and that we've, we've experienced on the court and as a franchise. And, and you're right, 35 is like, it's like that middle child anniversary. <laughs> so we're taking a little bit of a different tack with it. You know, It's not gonna be about you know, this date and heat history and you know, this guy scored that many points. Well, we're going to look at it from a, a nostalgic point of view. You know, nostalgia is really hot right now. And what we really want to do is we want to transport Heat fans back through the, the decades in which we've been in existence. But we want to put the Heat lens on it. So, you know, if it's the music that you were listening to in the late 80s, to the TV shows in the 90s, or the fashion in the 90s, to all the tech that's kind of come and changed throughout that time, you know, we want to put the Miami Heat into that mix. So even though, you know, uh, we might not have watched or listened to Heat games on the big brick cell phone, you know, we want to act like maybe you could have, you know. Uh, so you're going to see us take that kind of approach with this kind of anniversary. Because for 40, you know, that's going to be our big one. And, you know, that's 40 years. Anything that ends in the zero is kind of like the big one. And so the ones in the middle, uh, we, we want to have a little bit more fun with those. Yeah, transistor radios too. I think from the uh, from the late from the late eighties, Rothstein had a lot more hair at that point. Um, I, I, I some things you can't bring back. Like you can't bring everything back. I, I well, I'm learning that shortly. Uh, Rothstein told me I'm going to be just like him in about five years. I'm heading that direction. Although I didn't have the curls at any point that that he had. Uh, uh, you don't want to. Uh, come on, well, I, I, I looked a little different in 1988 as well. Yeah, that's a good that's a good point. Um, well, okay, so w when you look at again, you're going all the way from '88. Uh, all the way through. Uh, how many Heat Originals are still in the building now? What do we have, five? I think we have, I think we have seven. Okay. Six or seven Heat Originals, uh, including Eric Reed, Jose Pangeda, Jeff Craney, Andy Ellsberg. Uh, Bill Ferran isn't working uh, full-time anymore, so Bill's not there. Sammy Shulman. Yeah. Uh, six? I think that's, yeah, a good, six. that's a good six. Yeah, I, I think that's six. Oh, wait, no, he's, no. Fiorentino count. No, yes, no. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't think Tony was day one. I don't think Tony was day Okay. Uh, yes, he was. Yes, he was. And he still counts. So, yes. Because so I made that, mis I I've said this before. I've made that mistake before. I I've made mistakes with Tony at times. And whenever I make a mistake about Tony, he tends to show up in the urinal next to me in the bathroom <laughs> at the arena and remind me of my mistake before I'm finished. So, I want to make sure I get that right. So, so, coach, I apologize for that. All right. So, when you're talking about 35th anniversary, like, okay, so what, you mentioned it's through a heat lens. So, what does that mean? Uh, that means that we, we're going to be turning the nostalgia meter all the way up when we have our classic games. Again, we want to immerse people in, in that world. So for this entire season, we're celebrating the anniversary all season long, right? So there'll be nods and winks as, as we go through, even for games where we're not wearing the classic uniform. But on those games where we're wearing the classic uniform starting in January, that nostalgia meter is going to be turned up to 1,000, and you're going to be transported back to a different place in a different time through our game presentation, through our social posts. Every time we wear that uniform at home, we're going to a different place in time in Heat history. It's crazy. You guys have been a lot, uh, around twice as long as uh, your first round draft pick has been alive. So actually that's that's about right. Uh, all right, so let's talk about the home games now too, because uh, you know the, the season schedule is tilted in a lot of ways to a lot of home games early against a lot of sort of interesting Eastern Conference opponents. There's a lot of Boston on there, Toronto on there. I feel like they're going to be tested a lot, but at home, what do you have planned there? Uh, the home games are great. Like we have 12 home games in the first six and a half weeks of the season. Uh, and so for our fans, it's a great opportunity to get in and see us against that great uh, opponent from, from the East. 
starting with Chicago, then going Boston. Then you got these back-to-back sets with Toronto. Uh, we got the Warriors coming in. Uh, and then we have these really interesting, like I'm calling them baseball uh, home schedules, where we've got a game against Toronto on uh, Saturday and Tuesday. And then we've got, um, you know, Charlotte coming in on a Thursday and a Saturday. And then we've got Washington on a Wednesday and a Friday. So it's going to feel very much like we've got these home stands against these clubs. Uh, but we've got the powerhouses of the East. We've got the champions uh, of the NBA coming in all within the first six weeks. So we've created some real cool ticket programs, uh, some packages for people uh, to get in early. There's some special ticket prices. So heat.com slash tickets has all the information that's your one-stop shop. Uh, but again, for folks who are looking to get in and trying to see how we're going to be, the first six weeks are going uh, are to tell a lot and are going to give people a chance to really see some of the best teams in the East. All right, so let's go over the jerseys now, because last year, again, you had the big introduction. Um, and uh, and uh, I know we joked about the ransom thing, and then you guys ended up selling a ton of them, obviously. I told, were, I, I told you that was going to happen. I, p- people were wearing them. So whoever was held hostage, though, we hope that they've been released at this point. Um, maybe it was Casey Akpala. But anyway, uh, let's let's get to the jerseys uh, for, for this particular uh, year. What are we looking at? Uh, this year, we have three distinct campaigns, right? So we have our, our core campaign, which is our classic white uniform, our red uniform, and our black, right? So that's our core uniform. And then we will transition into our city edition uniform, which is mashup volume two. Uh, so this is our mashup uniform, but it's in white. And the cool thing about it is that we have unlocked new number styles. So there are four or five different number styles that weren't available last year that are gonna be available for fans this year. Uh, and what's also different is the players had to choose different numeral styles than what they had last year on the black jersey. So even though you might've gotten BAMS 13 last year, you're gonna want BAMS 13 this year because not only is it white, but he has a new number style that he's, he's selected. So that takes us from you know the 5,000 uh, choices that a fan had to over 12,000 different combinations that a fan can make because we've unlocked these new uniforms. And then in January, we uh, unveil our new classic uniforms. So again, this is from opening night, uh, 1988, that chunky number style, uh, the striping down one side, you know, everyone's familiar with the uniform, but for retail, we've done a couple of really interesting things. We've got a really cool patch that's gonna go above the jock tag. And that patch is gonna have an AR element to it. So when you hover your phone over it, you are gonna be immersed in this heat celebratory uh, experience. Uh, so three different distinct styles, three different distinct campaigns, uh, all wrapped up in the anniversary season. All right. And where does everybody find everything here? Uh, Heat.com and- slash tickets is your number one stop, your one stop shop for all things ticket related. And then obviously heat.com and heat on the, our, our social will take you through this entire campaign. Is there anything new for game? I mean, Golden Oldies back this year again? Golden Oldies ain't going anywhere. They're back this year. Heat dancers are back this year. We got our usual stable of talent, uh, but we have some, you know, we got some great fun stuff planned for uh, for this season. Some real cool giveaways. Opening night is this really awesome bucket hat, you know. So we're, you know, we're pulling out the stops. We want our fans to come back this year. All right. Well, Golden Oldies, I've got three more years before I can apply. So you know, I'm fixing my knee. I'm getting ready for it. Uh, Michael McCauley, Heat Vice President. Thanks for joining us again on Five on the Floor. Then you got it, man. Appreciate it. Always, always happy to be here.